Can you shrink a design? What happens with the pigmentation? Does it work with any polish? Which designs perform better? I'll answer all your questions in this video. Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to review the Super Sizer Stamper by Moira that promised to shrink in and enlarge our designs. I got this for $14.90 USD on morestamping.com and it comes with this box with instructions to reduce the size of the design and to enlarge it. This is the stamper, it has two parts, the plastic black base and the head of the stamper which is very firm to the touch and if you twist it to your right you're gonna see that the head of the stamper becomes more rounded and if you're twisted back to your left the head of the stamper is gonna be more flat. You can separate these two parts and the head of the stamper is translucent as any other stamper and the mechanism is basically pushing this pump up and down just to make sure that it pushes the head of the stamper out and in. For this mechanism to work you have to make sure that the head of the stamper is locked to the base so you have to just match it with the lock here. I'm going to be doing several tests with stamping nail polish from different brands and also regular nail polishes and I'll be using the clear jelly stamper sticky pad to put the designs. For the first test, I'm going to use only one figure and this stamping polish. All the products, I will put them in the description below. So here, to make the normal size of this design, I'm just going to follow the same steps that you normally do to stamp and this will be the reference. Uh, now we're going to make it smaller, so we have to follow four steps. First, we twist it to your right. Uh, second, we pick up the design. Third, we have to remove the head of the stamper and then we stamp with that. So after this demonstration, we're going to do it for real. So we twist it. I'm just going to twist it completely to the right and to the left so you can see the maximum size that it can reach. So for the smaller, we can see that it, make, it makes this smaller. To make it bigger, now this is a demonstration as well. We pick up the design with the head of the stamper flat then we twist it to your right and then we stamp so the only bad thing that i see on this part is that you don't have any visibility of uh, where you're going to stamp this design so you can see here we pick up the design then we twist it and we're going to see that the image got bigger already on the stamper so i'm going to try to match it with the other ones and here we have it so here's a close-up of the three designs it clearly made a difference. I said this reduced and enlarged the size but around a 20%. Uh, in this one I just missed a couple lines and the polish seems to be distributed weird and the color is a little bit faded in the large one but not a big deal. The second try will be a full pattern of a straight fine lines. I'm gonna be using a stamping polish from WhatsApp Nails. We all know that straight lines are very hard to stamp, especially if you have curved nails. This is gonna be a reference um, that turned out pretty well. And now to make the size smaller, I'm using the rolling motion and I want to show you that it's not very uh, good because the lines turn out a little bit twisted. So when I am stamping straight lines, I always prefer to use the up and down motion, which is what I did in the second try. And this turned out a little bit better. Uh, now I'm gonna launch the image uh, with the up and down technique. It looks pretty well so far, and I'm just gonna stamp it with the rolling motion and see what happens. And, oh my God, <laughs> it's a disaster, totally failed. So now I'm just going to try it for a second time with the up and down motion and let's see how it works. You can see that the design got bigger and this is a lot straighter. It's just that I couldn't see where I was stamping so it got a little bit rotated. Otherwise they're pretty good. I think it's not perfect but it did what it was supposed to do. For my third try, I'm gonna use a small detail figure, this snowman here that has a lot of details in the beanie and in the scarf. This image is already small on the plate, so I just was curious about how small can it go. This is, look at that, so cute. Um, and if we're gonna miss some of the important details of the figure. So here's the smallest option, and then here's the large. Oopsie, I almost put it on top of the other one. That's because you don't have visibility. And here we have the comparison. So we missed a lot of the details in the beanie in the three of them and also in the scarf in this little one. Otherwise, I think it did pretty well with the details. 
For our fourth test, I'm gonna be doing a full pattern detail. So I'm gonna be using this stamping polish and the sweater design that I got here. This has a lot of little lines and look at that. The design is, all, is amazing, I really love it. And it's very detailed. So here we have the smallest option and now to enlarge it, here we have it. So in this case, I got a lot of residue um, around the stamper because I didn't use a rolling motion, it was just up and down. And But we can also see that it did enlarge and shrink in this image. I noticed that the smaller image got a little bit darker, like the polish was more concentrated. For the test number five, I'm gonna be using regular nail polish and an outline figure so it has very fine lines uh, i really like this polish because you can get it on the drugstore and normally it's very pigmented and works very well for stamping so here we have the smaller option and here the bigger one oopsie that's a mistake on my side uh, here we see that it got the details pretty well i'm pretty happy with this result in the middle one i also get that sense that the polish doesn't distribute quite well so you got more darkest spot and more lighter for my test number six i'm gonna be using regular nail polish with thick lines in this plaid pattern uh, so this is for the first reference i'm gonna be using the motion just up and down to pick up the first design then we have the smaller option and then the larger one so let's see it up close to see the differences I think that the lines got straighter in the last one, the larger image. In the middle one, I still had a lot of twisting and weird distribution of the polish. I think it's just a matter of practice and get it used to the stamper. Now I'm gonna reply to your question. So can it shrink a design? Yes, it definitely can make it smaller than the plate size, but I said only by a 25%. The next question is when you enlarge the image, does the color or pigmentation fade? Not as much, just a little bit in some designs, but I wouldn't consider it as a big deal. Does it work with any stamping polish? It works with any stamping polish and regular polishes from different brands as I tested. And which designs perform better? Uh, fine lines, thicker ones, full patterns. I said it depends on the technique, uh, practice and design. I try and error and just get comfortable with the stamper. Overall, I'll rate this product three and a half stars out of five. I think it did what it's supposed to do. Uh, the only part that I didn't like that is too firm for me and for curved nails. And there's also no visibility when enlarging the image, which could be a big deal when you try to place the designs properly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.